Hey, this is Ellie from the Maxon Training Team. And in this Redshift quick tip, I'm gonna show you how you can take advantage of Photoshop files and layers to quickly iterate between different artwork inside of your materials. Here I've got a quick scene set up with a simple cam model and a Photoshop file with a few cool looking patterns, all on their own individual layers. These can actually be downloaded for free on Unsplash and were created by Magic Pattern and I'll link them in the description below. You can take advantage of your different Photoshop layers inside of Redshift. Here I've got a material with a few things already set up, like the base properties for the can and some roughness and bump detail. Just drag and drop your Photoshop file into the node editor and connect it to the base color input on your material. Now, if you select that texture node, you can choose between your different Photoshop layers, making it really quick and easy to iterate between your different artwork, patterns, or even logos. It's important to note that if you make any changes to the remapping inside the texture node, it'll apply these to each layer of the Photoshop file as these settings are stored in the shade node itself. Finally, what if you make changes or add a new layer to your Photoshop file? Just hit save in Photoshop, then back in Cinema 4D and Redshift, find the original texture node in your material and hit reload image. This will then update to show any changes or new layers created. Thanks for watching. If you like these quick tips, please like and subscribe.